filing from that point onward. So uh, in the record books, it's going to say 58 or so. But when it comes to reality, as you're out and about for your Friday afternoon, Christmas Eve Eve, uh, it's going to be brutally chilly by our standards. So just be uh, ready for that, especially when it comes to the winds. Even though we'll have an increase in sunshine and even on Christmas Eve, it'll be mostly sunny to partly cloudy at worst. Uh, the deep cold air will be right on the region and it's going to be a struggle for that sunlight to really warm things up on Saturday. Rain totals, not a big issue. There's not going to be enough to really stick to the ground all that much, so I'm not concerned about any kind of uh, freeze over from that regard. But the surge of cold air, like I mentioned, we can see temperatures on Friday morning go from the 50s to the 30s within maybe six to eight hours and likely staying in the 30s around the state line region. 40s are possible during the afternoon in the southeastern Big Bend, but this is a very, very cold setup, and that's going to set things up in the night for uh, 12, 14 hours worth or more of freezing temperatures. And then it's the wind that really bites hard. So keep that in mind for your Friday. That's why it's necessary to keep everything layered up because wind chills in the morning will be right around 10 to 15 degrees. And even in the afternoon, wind chills range from about 20 to 28. Feels like temperatures, not actual air temperatures, but it's just going to be brutally cold. And even myself being here for quite a while, not used to having temperatures in the afternoons in the 30s and morning lows that will be in the 20s. That chill sticks around for Christmas Eve night as well. More ahead right after this.